Directed by Sam Raimi and released in May of 2002, this friendly superhero adventure film quickly set the record for largest opening weekend gross of all time, eventually earning over $820 million, and launching a widely successful trilogy of movies starring Tobey Maguire as the titular spider-bitten hero. As with most initial installments, the first act of this picture deals exclusively with the origin story of Spider-Man, and the first of his many villains, the Green Goblin, played with a deranged duality by seasoned actor Willem Dafoe. The early montages that share hapless teen Maguire discovering his new powers and how best to design a crime-fighting persona around them are relatable, funny, and immensely enjoyable to watch unfold. Despite being unquestionably talented, the beautiful Kirsten Dunst plays the doe-eyed love interest with an unfortunate amount of confusion and corniness, rather than being a suitable equal to Maguire's much more expansive yet nuanced performance. Luckily, the at-the-time newcomer James Franco picks up the slack in the supporting cast department with a wonderfully conflicted performance that kick-started this Oscar-nominated actor's very successful career. Cliff Robertson and J.K. Simmons contribute limited but astonishingly memorable performances as Uncle Ben and the Daily Bugle's chief editor, respectively. Assisted by tremendous special effects and a wonderful score by Danny Elfman, the nail-biting action sequences here are incredibly well done, exciting to watch, and easy to follow. They expertly transform this playful teen romance drama into a big-budget popcorn film, while still maintaining its heart and purpose. Dunst's upside-down kiss with her web-crawling hero remains one of the lasting images of early 21st century cinema. The dialogue is overly hokey and expositional most of the time, but the story itself is an iconic one, cleverly adapted for modern fans of the decades-old comic. Despite its missteps, this is a playful and light-hearted adventure that deserves to be applauded for its skillful adaptation and entertaining execution ending with a powerful final scene that skillfully sets up the equally impressive sequel. Definitely worth watching more than once. Spider-Man is relatable, emotional, and amazingly fun. Well, that's what I thought about this movie. Now let's see what you had to say about it in the YouTube comments. To showcase our ratings for Spider-Man, here's the rate A 9 and an 8. There was no doubt amongst you, this is a fun and enjoyable film, but it was too goofy and awkward at times for you to score any higher than a great. I was able to slightly look past that fault, being undeniably entertained by the great characters and action that this film delivered. And the best part is, the sequel was even stronger. I thought it was awesome. 